am Stephanie Hansen and this is Stephanie's Dish and we are making blondies today and it's around Easter time so we're gonna make an Easter themed blondie with these Cadbury mini eggs but you could extrapolate this and use red and green um, M&Ms at the holiday times or you could just use colored M&Ms whatever works for you would be fine a uh, quick hack for you we have to line an 8x8 pan and we've got this parchment paper I'm gonna just wet it and by doing that it allows me to crinkle it up okay I'm just crinkling 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 and it softens it so that it's easier to line the pan instead of having to wrestle with the paper that's a quick little trick that I do and you can see works real well I'm gonna go ahead and spray the inside of the pan with cooking spray all over so that we can get these bars out when it's time all right so we're gonna start by creaming the butter and the sugar just like you would with a traditional toll house cookie I have the butter already we use a stick and a half and I'm gonna incorporate the sugars and cream them into the butter for this recipe all right we're gonna add two eggs I'm gonna just put these in here just for the ease of slipping them in and in addition to the two eggs we're going to be adding vanilla salt that's the salt little vanilla little baking powder get all that added in and then we're gonna mix in our flour just a little bit at a time so it gets all incorporated. I love a good flower cloud, don't you? That means you're doing it right. Okay, so we've got a good dough forming here. I'm gonna take it off of the mixer. It's a little trick, I just lift it a little bit. And then I'm gonna finish the rest by hand. When I'm making bars or brownies, I typically do like to do it in an eight by eight because I want them to be high and not like a little half inch tall. Okay, I'm stirring in about a cup and a half of these Cadbury eggs and I crushed them a little bit first. You kind of want all the jaggedy bits. I've got a quarter cup of white chocolate and I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of this incorporated into my dough, finding any dry spots where there's flour and mixing that in. You can use a wooden spoon or a spatula like I'm doing here, but we're just getting all those shards of candy inside the blondie batter. And I think I've got everything pretty well mixed in. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into my eight by eight. making my paper stand up a little bit. Now, if you're one of those people that is very organized, you can always use like these little clips to hold your paper, right? This one is gonna stick on there. If you feel like that's what you wanna do, I'm just gonna push it down with the back of a spoon and it will be fine. All right, batter flying everywhere! This is why you like to do cooking with kids. These are gonna be so cute when they're all done. Okay, so just taking a few of the more whole chunks and laying them in, again, so that each person's little bite has one of these delicious Cadbury eggs. This is gonna make about nine to 12 bars, we'll just assume nine and they're gonna be pretty generously sized. Oh, I don't wanna put that one there, you know why? Because I'm imagining the cutting line that's gonna happen and I would have to cut right through that. All right, here we go, Blondie's in the oven, about 30 minutes and then we're gonna let them rest for about 10 minutes before we go ahead and cut them. Okay, our Blondie's have been fully cooled, so you wanna be quick with your knife 
and you want to be sharp with your knife because you want them to stay together and you want them to hold up. That one's gonna, they're a little um, soft, so you want to be quick with your knife. You can see like I cut into one of the little Cadbury eggs in there, yum. These would be perfect for like an Easter situation or a baby shower or a brunch. And again, if you don't have the Cadbury eggs, you can do it with um, M&M's. You could do it just with chocolate chips. These are gonna be really delicious. Okay, yum. Who doesn't love a blondie? And we'll just pile them up on our cute little tray here. And you can see they're a little moist on the inside, a little ooey, with that blondie. Yum. 